On this episode, Seiyu decided to finally shut up Saraj once and for all by presenting proof of evidence that, you know, by providing proof of evidence that, you know, that the baby actually belongs to Seiyu and um, Kana. What I'm trying to say is that you guys already know that since Seiyu returned, Saraj has like been questioning her and also not really, you know, confident that the baby belongs to Seiyu. Saraj have also been asking Seiyui if she slept with Vikrant, if she had affair with Vikrant, if she cheated on um, Kana, you know, all those meaningless questions. And also, because of this same stuff, Saraj decided to go bring somebody to scare Seiyui, and so that Seiyui will be, will be kicked out of their family house and sent to a mental asylum as a crazy and mad person. Also, because of this whole um, hatred, she has started hating um say we and she can really do anything not to like eliminate the out of their life so say we decide to go do a dna test that saraj was requesting and this is the episode that she brought it back to her and probably to show her that okay this is why you're crucifying me and i'm definitely innocent and also a lot of dramas that happen on this episode don't forget to subscribe as we jump into the video of today the episode star with Rashmi, please say we to get her out of jail and promises to never make a mistake again. Seiyui says that already gave her many chances for her baby's sake. Rashmi says that she didn't do anything and if someone else who hired Ravi and tried to harm her, she should be careful as her life is in danger. Seiyui wants her to stop her drama as it is not affected her and walks out of the jail. Rashmi warns her that if she doesn't get out of jail, she will. Say you ask her what will she do if she tries to harm her family again, she will not keep quiet. Rashmi thinks that it's enough of her good art now as Say you see her villain side. Say you returns up Kana as we have she be Say you says that Rashmi was calling Naku off from so she has to go meet Rashmi. Kana says that she needs to not explain herself to so as some relationship can be forgotten. He gets a call from office and asks Say you to go and asks Say you to go to the kids. Chaman notices Cuckoo playing with a teddy and demands it. Cuckoo refuses to give her toy. Chaman angrily snatches it and tears it into pieces, leaving Cuckoo shivering in fears. Seiyui walks in. Chaman acts as if she's dancing to entertain Cuckoo. Seiyui asks, What is she doing? Chaman says that she's trying to share up Cuckoo with her dancing. Seiyui asks Cuckoo if she likes Chaman. Chaman tries Cuckoo to say yes. Cuckoo runs away from there. Say you get confused and apparently this chairman person is the next um character I should do a review on. She's entering soon on the show. Grandmother insists Sarah should find out if Mitu is really Kana's daughter. Sarah says that she would not or else Kana will leave her house again. Will leave her house. She will live with this pair forever. Sayu enters there and says that she doesn't have to do that. She gives Mitu's DNA report and insists her to read it. She calls meeting a doctor and getting a DNA from him. She tells Saraj that she wants Mitu's grandmother to she wants Mitu's grandmother to shower love on her, that because she deserves it. Grandmother insists Saraj to read the report herself. She reads it and congratulates her that Mitu is actually Kana's daughter. Saraj fears that whatever wrong she did to rush me will finally get exposed. And um and um that is how she started melting down because she knows that she has done a lot of bad. And uh, finally, the reason she's crucifying Seiwi turns out that Seiwi is innocent. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching up to this point. And I'll see you guys next time in another video soon. And again, bye guys.